guys, Hexer18, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be uh, going over a bug issue in Backtrack 5 that many of you have came across, including myself. You've always came across probably this unknown error 132 in Virtual Machine. Uh, it's a known bug that's number 158, and I I guess I was directed to this or someone showed it to me and I was like oh well maybe we can patch this and there is a patch for this so I'm going to sh go over that and show you guys how to do it. So um, if you want to you guys can look at this link or go to it. Um, it it'll probably be uh, zoomed in or it'll show you on the screen below when I edit the video and it just basically goes over the description of this what's going what's wrong with it. So a lot of people have done some Googling around for the problem and they said the problem is with the kernel driver. So they are applying a, an attached patch um, that you can download and then apply the patch. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, but here is the, the issue that a lot of people have been getting. Um, and this is exactly what I've been getting too. So um, I'm going to show you how to get this working and uh, we're going to follow what Mutt said here um, below um, so you can guys can follow along if you want so uh, let's go ahead and get this started and I'm hoping this works because I haven't actually tested this out yet so we'll find out um, I'm going to full screen backtrack 5 from my virtual machine it's already updated everything's good to go so what you're going to need to do is open your terminal and we're going to type prepare dash kernel dash sources press enter okay it's finished that command and now we're going to change that directory to uh, user src linux drivers net wireless rtl 81 whoa 81 8x and then rtl a1 87 and then slash all right and then we're going to go ahead and download the patch w get http slash slash backtrack linux org slash silly dash rf kill patch dot patch <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and patch this so I'm going to type patch dash p zero looks like a zero and then uh the arrow pointing to the left i guess that's would say less than grid or yeah less than sign it looks like and then um silly dash rf kill dash patch dot patch now a lot of you are thinking how the heck do you remember all these commands I have a lot of you telling me that I have notes with me I print off notes and I make sure I'm reading it you know from paper of course press enter and it applied the patch now um, we need to change that directory to use our uh, SRC Linux. Now I apologize if that's not USAR or user. I mean, this is the way I say it. Um, continue on. Now we need to make and then copy the drivers over. So make drivers slash net slash wireless slash RTL 818x slash rtl 81 7 slash rtl 81 dot ko now i'm just going to double make sure i typed everything in there correctly from what my paper says here all right i'm going to press enter hopefully it does its magic here 
All right, and then I need to copy the drivers to drivers slash net slash wireless slash RTL 818X slash RTL 8187 slash RTL 81U7.KO space slash lib slash modules slash 2.6.39.4 slash and then um Yes, and then kernel slash drivers slash net slash wireless. Whoops, make sure you spell stuff in here correctly or it's not gonna work. RTL 8187 slash RTL 8187.ko. Now, see, I'm hoping. They fix this issue on the next update or they roll out an update for it. That would be awesome too. Um, but so far from what I found out, there isn't one. So I'm going to press enter here. Pray to God this works. Uh, there's no directory or username with that. Okay, let me go ahead and look. Make sure we got our right uh, kernel number here. Yep. Maybe I typed something wrong in here. RTL. Oh. I found my problem. Okay. We forgot the X. Then slash RTL 8187. And that should be correct. Let's go ahead and try that yes and then we just simply reboot here so i'm going to go ahead and just type in reboot and go from there now i'm definitely hoping this works because like i said i never really i didn't even try this yet this something i just quickly looked up and i was going to make a video on it but um, I'll have my, my cord here. I might have to reboot because I didn't have it connected here earlier. But I'm going to go ahead and connect my card and see if that works here. <coughs> might get a message about it connecting to Linux. Okay. And then I'm going to say root tour. Now some of you might be wondering why it's not automatically logging me in like I showed in my previous videos and I don't have like the other programs like TeamViewer back on there and such because something screwed up when I had Backtrack 5 earlier on there and I had to completely rewipe re it and re-clean it back up. So um, okay now um, why isn't this whole screen let me get this fixed. Hopefully it's gonna go full screen. All right, here we go. Um, and now I'm gonna double check to see if everything is working. Config. Hey, we got our wireless card up now. Um, now what we're wondering here is if we can do the uh, monitor mode. So I believe it's Airmon G Start. Wait, line zero. Monitor mode enable, and then arrow dump ng, um, and then mo and zero. Hey, guess what? I think it works. Let's see if we can pick up some networks. All right, we got it. So guys, it, this is working perfectly. I. It, right when I rebooted, I plugged it right in, logged in, and hey, look, it's working. Perfect. Awesome fix, awesome patch. Uh, hope this works for you guys, or this video helps you guys. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And um, as you can see, there's not very many networks around. Well, and my my uh, antenna is not very large either. It's not very big as um, the one that my friend's borrowing right now from me. So I'm just going to exit here, and I'm going to go out of full screen, and I'm going to in the video right now guys so uh, comment you know rate subscribe let me know what you guys think of this patch or this fix I hope this this helps you guys out if you guys followed the video correctly your backtrack 5 is com uh, completely updated to the latest everything should work for you um, this should work for VMware Fusion or VMware for those who are using uh, Windows I'm not sure about virtual uh, virtual box because I don't use that anymore it doesn't work for me for what I need to do for these videos on the Mac so okay guys talk to you guys later hope this helps